Hello, this is Slavik and welcome to my first campaign on the new Emperor patch 1.30 patch. As you can see, we are going to play as Burgundy. And the first episode, I'll be showing you around all the new changes in the patch, like as many as I can, while smoothly playing for this gameplay of Burgundy. So, my first move over here is to clear the forts, because we don't need so many forts, we are paying right now for them freaking 5 ducats. So, no, we don't need so many. Uh, this is hills, this is farmlands, I don't need this farmlands fort, I might uh, <laughs> uh, regret that in the future when it were France, but no, I don't need that. Same for this fort in Luxembourg and this uh, fort in uh, Picardy. Yes, thanks to this uh, right now we are spending two on the forts, two ducats, and when I turn them off, it's just one ducat. So we've just saved lots of money. Now I'm getting those two troops together. For the navy, uh, I'm going to use trade ships to protect my trade in the English Channel. I'm going to turn off the move, bo move all the heavy ships and destroy the transport ships. We're not going to use them. So that was the second step. And now to the interesting thing, the new estate system. So in the past we were just clicking the buttons, taking power points, uh, manpower, money or anything you needed. Right now it's harder. As you can see, we have uh, estates that each estate like, has its percent of, of the land, and there's crown land, so like our own land, it's just 30%. And as I remember, if it's below 30%, uh, we are getting those minuses, uh, they stuck. So our goal like here uh, is even 40%. Yeah, you can see. Uh, so I'll go right here will be to conquer new promises and increase the crown land. You can do so, of course, uh, by developing the promises, but right now it's not worth, of course, at the beginning of the game. So for the estate, you can see they're giving us uh, basic modifiers as they were in the past. Uh, so first thing, you can see we have uh, a couple of privileges. Each privilege is giving them loyalty, uh, influence, and might change our crown land and absolute is the maximum one, but it's, this will matter in the future, of course. So I'm going to pick uh, Right of Council that is increased the loyalty and influence without changing our crown land. So this is the first choice. Second choice is advisor cost, but it's increasing the stability. So first, we need to pick the stability. Maybe we have advisor for that. Yes, I'm going getting the advisor, then increasing the stability to one, and so right now we can pick this. This is decreasing the cost of the advisor. It's 0 0.4 instead of uh, 0 0.8, so it's quite nice. Second step uh, is to go. Yeah, third one is no, not this one. This is increasing the influence, uh, but I don't need this one. I wanted the one for manpower. Where is that? Yeah, here it goes. You can see maximum manpower modifier up to 50%. Because if you increase the influence furthermore, it will be more than 40%, like here. So I'm choosing that, and as you can see right now, it's giving us 39.9. Okay. Next step is clergy. I'm going to do the same thing. So, uh, in the administrative advisor cost is decreased. It's, oh, okay. He was the general chief, but he's 0 0.28 right now, and uh, increase the influence. Uh, this one. Yes. This is uh, just alright, and I'm going to do the same with bourgeoisie. Here I'm going to give them just this, and cheaper advisor. There it goes. So right now we're going to pay way less for our advisors. I'm going to take the, the spy network. Now I need to improve relations with my vassals. I could take the level 2, no I don't have that much money. Uh, I'll take the trade efficiency. Guy, oh no, diplomatic reputation. Because we have a mission to get our vassals' uh, liberty desire to zero. So we need that. And over here, uh, it's useless. Useless, useless, useless. Let's try finding someone uh, better. And turn off the army, you can see there. Now, this is really cool. So for the rivals, you can see right now when I. Uh, you can see it's highlighting the rival nations when you do that. If we go here, you can see who is our rival already, and there is uh, yeah also highlighting all of them. So I'm going to choose um, England because they uh, they uh, also made me a rival. Then it will be France because I'm going to kill them, 
and it will be also Provence because they are quite small nation and possibly uh, we could you know uh, just kill them thanks to that uh, just so uh, you know we get free power projection for them being too small and we have a mission for them so this is two go really good things um next step is to find new allies strong allies Austria is of course the obvious choice over here we of course form five relations but I think I'll need at least two allies I was thinking about Castile but we would have to probably improve relations with them to do so who is rival of France because we definitely go to fight with France mm -hmm. this Austria we have uh, Aragon hates our guts so not gonna happen what about Savoy maybe Bohemia um hmm let's go for Savoy I would say do that okay we might be one relation over the limit it's not a problem here we are waiting uh, for the end of the month so the missions we have two really important missions here one is English Alliance and I basically need to insult England wait a few days and insult France there it goes and right now thanks to we have improved relation bonus of course right now it's not giving us anything um so wait to improve relations with the vassals of France because uh, next mission is to improve have at least a hundred positive relation with uh, three of the vassal of France and I'm getting claims on all of over those provinces thanks to that and they all getting liberal desire so this is really cool let me just turn off the discord because I was having uh, some spam so I'm going to do that in a second second one is placate subjects so all of my subjects need to have uh, liberty desire below zero as you can see it's quite close uh, of course because of that like I've seen uh, prestige is increasing the liberty desire quite significantly so I cannot disinherit this shitty error at least the ruler is great and this is going to give me permanent claim on Lorraine area so also quite significant and for this I'll need a cardinal etc so no and for this I'll need to annex uh, this vassal so I'm going to start with improving relations of Orléans and uh, with Flanders so with my vassals and with vassals of France to get those two missions ongoing and we'll need an uh, advisor here in a second so let's get him as you can see six almost it's over seven minutes just for the to <laughs> push the uh, start button. So manpower is really would be really useful. Let's get this, and we still have eleven income, four point seven. Uh, we could try getting it's zero thirteen. Remember uh, this uh, strategy is cheaper in your capital province. So let's uh, try to protect trade. It's zero point twenty five, and it's going to change my income by 0.15 what if we switch that a little bit where it is for the English channel 0 0.5 if what if I collect here instead of English channel that's the first thing and second never is divert trade no not gonna do that just see that 2.8 let's give it speed 5 it's 2.8 Three ducats. So right now our income is 11.3. This is good. Never is gonna accept. Uh, same for Savoy and Austria. These were the successions. Nothing that we could really use, to be honest. The major nations, even if they uh, don't have air, its uh, current ruler is quite young. It's not worth to invest or that. And um, we might need a. Uh, yeah. By the way. We are freaking douchey, so yes, we are douchey. So I don't think if I want to have a focus, because obviously because of the focus, uh, we will not be getting all of those points. But I really need more military points because I want to attack France the second I reach the fourth technology. I'm going to get this focus after all, and here I'm getting this guy for level two because it's still just one ducat. So it's it's really nice to have something like that. Okay, good. Let's get it going. Uh, Kingdom of the Italian Empire doesn't matter. You can see zero, one, zero, and five. So with Flanders, we've improved. Uh, it's already enough. 
I can move and improve with Brabant right now. Yes, and then with Holland. And in the meantime, we could increase our amount of troops, of course. To also decrease the uh, Liberty Desire. We still lack out of manpower, but let's get 2,000 for now. I think I will need at least 20,000 for the war against France. And the war will be nothing close to easy, unfortunately. So, they're, oh, they're building the armies as well. So it will not be that easy. But let's see, if they build it up, it's army, right? No, that's bark. <laughs> they're building barks, okay. Uh, new purple control couldn't do anything about that. Yeah, this mission will be, uh, I think, the easiest, but I think this is, uh, yeah, they are to France. So anyway, I'll be not able to kill Provence. So what are the alliances of France here? It's Scotland and Provence. So it's not so bad. Could be better. Um, hopefully Austria will be eager to help me against France. Yeah, I'll, you know, in the worst case, I'll have to deal with that by myself. Those guys are excommunicated, so maybe France will not help them. Surrender of Maine. So we have a war between England and France. By the way, in this patch, like in the previous patch, playing as England, you just needed to release a vassal here that owns Maine and this event was not triggered. But they deleted it for this patch. So we cannot go around this. You need to fight. We do really need a leader here. Uh huh. We just. Unfortunately, he's shitty. So. The technology, like uh, this guy, this role is for military. Mm -hmm. uh, screw you, France, I'm not going to give you anything. Okay, there goes placate subjects. So the claims will run a area. Maybe France will be exhausted by England, what I don't think will happen. I could attack them. Uh, let's just see. No, no, not insult. And uh, declare war. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, okay, it's okay. Uh, let's improve relations with another vassal of them. Um, our maniac. So be a hundred with three of them. And this I'm not clicking yet. So, innovativeness. Prestige. Prestige will be needed for our morale to deal with France. Of course, our morale should be higher because we have at start plus 10%. Uh, I need to think uh, where is the insult ending? So, not waste. Uh, conquest. No, 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 no. Uh, when did I insult ya? You know what? Anyway, I'll just uh, click that already. It's 46 sides, probably to 5 years. Uh, this modifier. But I want to be sure that I will not wa did not waste this uh, prestige on the insults at the beginning. Oh, this is a hard one to get. And this also is probably a hard one to get. We'll see. I played a test game, but it was just 20 years. It wasn't anything, uh, you know, farther than that. Okay, this is 100 already. Let's take it to 100 then, and then I will switch to another guy. Success of Vladislav, so normally I personally am you know, here. Between Poland and Lithuania, nothing changed here. Yeah, you can see map is also beautiful, by the way. I'm quite sure you already seen that. A lot of uh, new provinces and uh, nations like Bologna here, Croatia, Herzegovina, uh, Sili, three leagues, they have really great ideas. Manpower and discipline has started and then a, a few quite also nice. Uh, Switzerland is having great ideas for the mercenaries and talking about the mercenaries. You can see right now you're not recruiting, recruiting a single stacks of mercenaries but whole companies with this they have their own cost to hire, um, own uh, monthly uh, maintenance, some of them have bonuses, leaders, so it's quite interesting. Um, Claim Valois. I, mean, no, I need to improve relations with them. No, screw you. And cancel these guys and let's get it uh, on Bourbonnet. Okay. For the missions, you can see our missions are quite great. We can form Lotharingia thanks to them. I think it was... Um, which one was that? I think it was King of the Franks? No. Lothar's Legacy. I think it was this one. Like, I need to own all of those provinces to do so. You can, no. The whole holy one for is uh, uh, like changed. We have main reforms. Then we are switching to, I think, after 5 or 6, we're switching. Uh, we can choose between Centralization and decentralization. In centralization is like mostly as the 
old path, so you are just going to renovate into an imperi and so evoke Privija and decentralization is more about the bonuses for your electors and nations inside the empire. And yeah, of course, Pampas is also changed. You can see there is a golden bull that Pope might do. It's Christian Pietas, uh, development cost and tolerance of the hunters, quite nice. Uh, this is reform desire, my papal influence, and I can get 16 ducats. Hmm. No, 66 ducats to get one yearly papal influence. I don't have that much money. I have, but I have better things to do. Uh, Naples is also changed. You can see there is. They just went uh, uh, out of the personal union for the event. In most of the cases, it happens. In some of the cases, uh, Aragon keeps them, but with a lot of minuses. Two more thousand here. Uh, Yuri Prestige. Let's get that. So how close are we to get the fifth technology? It is going to be here in the February in over a year. I think it should be yeah, in the meantime get the claims ready. And I'm afraid that Austria will not help us. So we'll have to deal with them by ourselves. But that's totally doable. You can also see that I'm not playing on my normal Grafica mod because I'm recording it before the premiere of the game and it's not working on this. This will be uh, probably an another full, this is another mod, the thick uh, borders and record border. I was using that in the past and right now it's it's working, even uh, if not updated. So there goes uh, my claims on France. You can see here I have claims on all of those provinces and 71, 54, 55, 49, 55, yeah, all of those vassals have a significant amount of liberty desire. So, right now I'm going to turn on the forts, turn on our armies. We have some uh, army professionals to use during the war. Uh, what is the... it's 20 of combat, so 20k is good, uh, let's get it oh, 20. I'm going to get... Uh, that's in those two, obviously. Get access. Or should I get access? Um, mm, no, I will start from here. Because, you know, in, when I tried the test run, they went straight to for my capital, so it hurt me. Uh, for my vassals, I will get them supportive attitude, and I'm going to allow them to attach. Okay, you might even try to go after this French stack right away. Just need to wait for, for the new technology, the military technology. Right now I'm going to improve relations with Pope uh, for Papal influence. And uh, maybe if... Oh, they made me a rival as well. Hmm, that's too bad. Who would like to ally me maybe in the future? You're... Okay, also rival you, so no sense. Um, maybe Hungary. I'll just start improving with them. And yeah, I'm just waiting right now for the technology with the advantage of military taxes, tactics and morale. I should be stomping them. Um, national tax, but Pope, like Papa influence will decrease, so no thank you. Let's increase the Papa influence instead. This is ready. I want to change the crown land. Oh, and yeah, there's someone I forgot about this to be honest. There is someone on the diet. Uh, so I can get 5 influence and 5 light of each estate, so I'm going to get this, uh, and this is giving me these bonuses, as you can see. And so right now I have 3 agendas, so practically old time missions. I can get the clergy, so they want base tax in Namur on the level of 9. Namur is here, so I have to develop it twice, and they would give me 10 uh, prestige and more, inf uh, more of the loyalty. Here I need 30 prestige, so 20 more. This 50 admin points, and I have basically 20 years to do so. And here, Codurgent Burgundy has 20% or more trade power. Codurgent? Is it, is it here? <laughs> Where is that? Or maybe it's uh, Burgundian. Charter, no, well, maybe somebody of you will comment on that. I think this is the best because admin points will be ruling it and prestige will be gained for the war with France. So I'm choosing this. 20 years should be enough to achieve that. 
Okay. So, speed five again. We need 27 more points. Advancement of the clergy, so you can see there are still events. And thanks to this event, uh, they are still giving the same. So, yearly power influence and stability cost modifier and tax. When I, of course, increase my crown land, I will be able to give, for example, monthly military power. So, it will be really useful, but this is not helpful. Okay, so how close are we? One month. Uh, I'm going to cancel this diplomat. And then you. Yeah, blah blah blah. And your new mouth 14.6. So they'll probably, if I attack here, they'll come. I need a better leader than that. Okay, I'll lose this one. Okay. January, there it goes. <sighs> okay. Morale guy. I would take also morale guy to increase our advantage. Now, right now, I need to wait a month. One more. Okay, so when I attack here, I'll be having... Uh, let's just... <sighs> okay, when I attack now, I'll be having uh, more, more, way more more than that. Scotland will not join. Unfortunately, Provence will. Let's hope this will not block us from going here. Are they paying for this fort though? Yes, they are. Okay, declare war in the Moors. If I go on this 4000, speed free, of course. So those guys will join here. Oh dear. This is good. This is good. They will be attacking. No. Okay, I'll attack them. We want to do as many stack wise as possible. There it goes, the first one. I'll be attacker here if I do so. Until be on 28th March. Until free. Okay, let's try it. Shift consolidate. Oh, of course. Uh, it's okay. It's okay, we need to catch the small stacks. That's our mission for the early game. I can get there, I can get there, good. I wait for those guys to be movement locked. Stack wipe. Okay, we have already killed 18,000 of them. Let's go for another ones. It's farmlands. But they're going to Dijonet, so it's even better for us. If I stack wipe uh, army of Provence, that would be perfect. To be honest. It's just... So I need to respond to one thing. Okay. Now it's a stack wipe. Oof! Ah, okay. I thought I, I'm going to stack wipe this army, but no. Okay, we need more troops, definitely. Let's recruit at least two more thousand. And what the hell are my vassals doing? Um, siege. Go siege. Maybe at least we will do that. As you should. France is not pissing out England yet. So England might be of use. Let's go for Troyes. Of course they're sitting down here. I need to decrease the most importantly army of France, not the vassals. Because vassals will get disloyal when they look at the, the French army. Okay, go there. Just sit it down. And for fuck's sake. Leaf. 22nd, 21st. 22nd. Ah! This will be a stack wipe. Okay, at least they changed their mind. Okay. Yeah, come at me, bro. Okay, good. I'll let them get here. I'm going to rape them. That might be a stack wipe even with good rolls. There it goes. So let's see. Um, 48, 46, 41. And only those guys are having more. Come on, we just stack wipe tr French troops. 
significant amount of them. Okay, at least my vassals are starting to do something finally. I can't really help them, I need to go here. Let's see, maybe I'll be able to reinforce there. Ah, oh, just my vassals are doing shit. And of course it's a stack wipe. Okay guys, attach to me. I'll maybe switch that to supportive and this way... Oof, they're not even attaching to me. What if I split this in a half? My army, maybe they think uh, the stacks are too big to attach to them. Let's just see. Okay. Okay! Now we can play. Now we can freaking play. Questions how much I will catch with this? Thanks, thank god everything. Reinforce with half. Other half. And we should win that. Yeah. Okay, good. Whew! We've... We have 8 war score from just winning battles and killing 50,000 of them. How is the manpower of France? I think I can check it here. Still 16 freaking thousand. Are you loyal or something? No. Those are disloyal. Those are almost disloyal. It's not that yet. Okay. Attach armies are going to Paris and uh, you can just deal with 1k in the meantime. Some diplo points for us. There it goes. Kill some more of those. What if I... Like, I think I'm going to take a risk. I killed all of the like a lot of the troops. What if I stand everywhere with some armies? Oh, fuck. Why oh, is such a long way to get there? I want just to white piece them, you know? Main stack is going here just to be able to reinforce in case something happening. You need a leader. I'll give you one. You get there as well. Good. Um, they're not attaching to me. Or, no, they are attached here. Okay, good. Um, half of this army will go there. And here, of course, I'm getting to turn on the defensive edict to slow down the sieges. But here we don't have a siege general. Do we have any siege general? This one is siege. Yeah, let's ship consolidate these guys. Siege General, go turn. Yes, I need a Siege General, so give me one. And from here I'm getting the empty stacks and this guy. Okay. They're attacking me, but they can't win here. Good that they attach to me here. So the second I siege down this fort, uh, this province, not fort, and of course they <laughs> disattach as you can see. Okay, okay, they are back here. Okay. I could to be honest if 1k to ready Oh for real this fort is blocking me. I need a siege uh, guy here. Um yeah, good. This is bad, I cannot go here to my uh, home province and I don't know how much I can uh, get like keep it here. Okay, from this uh, siege Okay, this is each guy. Let's take most of the people to save some of our manpower. From here it's good. Yeah, you can see I can't get there. I'll go straight there. Ah, this will be bad. Capital Fort shouldn't be reoccupying this, should it? It's not okay. Okay, this will be over close. Where's the army? They have all the farms here. Can't get there. Not even here, but I can. I cannot even go to Paris? What the hell? This is bad. This is actually uh, quite bad. I think I'm going to get some mercs. But I cannot afford any. Mmm. One ducket maintenance is quite nice, to be honest. Let's take a loan. Reinforce speed, yeah. 
Yeah, but they are cheap and a lot of mempor. I'm going to get them. Let's get them in uh, range. And that will be prob. Are they counting over the force limit? I don't know. Give me speed 4. Or they finish the war with uh, France. Is it this 4 to great? It is. Am I over the force limit now? Oh, yes, I am. Okay. I should now engage all the battles. This fort, uh, like this army, is also. Uh, this is bad. I'll get those by guys. This will be there on the 10th of May. Get those to be ready to help here. If you need another leader. This is 35 and this is uh, broke walls. But I need to be ready at any second to reinforce here because I'm quite sure they'll be attacking in a second. Uh, to be sure I will go with this stack as well. Those guys are loyal now, for fuck's sake. If more troops here, yeah, they'll not be coming. This is 15% of the war score. I still not, cannot go here without this this fort down. So let's wait. I think if we get the war goal, we're losing uh, six from the lack of the war goal right now. It's, money is not that bad as well. We still have this to get manpower. It's okay. I use this mercs uh, just to engage a few major battles when needed. They go here. Oh yeah, and this stack cannot go even go into Paris. What's it doing? Okay, there it goes. Can I... I can piece them out. But it's uh, right now, by the way, marks attach. This is attached to each other. Okay, now I can go wherever I can. Let's go. Go here. Let's engage. Okay, there it goes. Uh, we copy this. Go there. This will be very important part of the war right now. So I need 20,000, right? So this is the command we have to win the battle. That's quite a quite long episode already. Uh, go there. And from here I'm going to take those 3,000 there. Let's go. We'll get ready to go do a, an efficient battle against them. Let's improve with Pope again. We've killed how many? 63,000. Oh yes, engage on me. I'm waiting for that. I'll go here. Okay. Let's go with those guys. Those guys. To change everything. They still don't have warp technology, right? And I theoretically don't need to reinforce that far anymore. But I can't even. Which fort is blocking me? Okay, this is, this is a mess because of those marks. Um, touch. Go here and I'll get the stack, big stack with my vassals. Yes, this will be my main stack. And you guys just go like that here. Okay, that's 18%, but I'm getting the war goal right now. Let's do this. How much over the limit I am? Just 1000. Now it's okay. This is 28. What I want from this war is probably at least. Uh, where is the fort? Hmm. Claims. Yeah, at least those three provinces would be good without any coalition. 45. 
I think I'm getting World Score Friends to provide. That's for, that's 34. Yeah. So I don't want to peace out. I'll just go here. Street General. Okay. Are they loyal? They are, unfortunately. And I go. I cannot detach anything. Okay, just siege it down first then. I will send one key here. But anyway. I will finish the war in the next episode because it's already almost 40 minutes. So you can see well, the game on the new patch is quite exciting. And without uh, normal barracks, it's, uh, it might be some struggle. We are already in two loans. Uh, more coming, but it's great. We are going to kill France. Probably will take more reparations from them to repay my loans. To be all okay. So for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please leave a like and comment. And of course, subscribe and see you soon in the next episode.